Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 10th episode of Cub TV. I'm back, and I'm here with the incomparable Joe Ferguson. It's very good to have you here, Joe. It's good to be back, Cooper. And here's Ethan, who covered the Walt Disney trip with Mr. Presley and Mrs. Dunbar. Now I am going to interview Haley Weber on her experiences on the trip. So Haley, you were one of the members that went on the band and chorus trip to Orlando, Florida? Yeah. How was it like? I think that it was a really fun trip. We It was a lot of bonding experience and I had a good time. What was your favorite thing to do in Orlando? I think my favorite part was Epcot because I had a lot of fun rides and it was had some fun shopping experiences too. Do you think um, in the future other students would like to go to Orlando? I think that if you have the chance to do it, do it. I mean, it's a thousand some dollars, but I, it's worth it. And then you can ask your first question. Okay. I'll be interviewing Mr. Presley about the Orlando, Florida trip. How did your group bond on this trip? Well, when students are with each other for 24 hours a day for six days a week, um, they bond in lots of ways. They get to spend time with each other. Um, you know, they're sharing rooms with each other, riding a bus where you're stuck together for 27 or 30 hours. And you just come up with things to do, to, to uh, hang out, um, lots of little games and things like that, watching movies, and just the, the sheer just being around all your friends for a whole week just naturally kind of gets a new bond formed because of the experience. What were some of the activities you guys did while in Florida? Okay. Well, uh, primarily performances were kind of the main reason. So the band performed on Tuesday, uh, March 15th at uh, Disney Springs on the Waterside stage. And uh, that was a really hot day. It was like record temperatures. So they did really well, despite the fact that it was 90 degrees. And then the uh, choir performed on the next day in a, a clinic where they work with some Disney musicians on how to um, be a really effective choir. They learned some dance moves and they also did a uh, learned about how music is added to animation and created a DVD from that. And in addition to that, um, we enjoyed the time in the parks at the Magic Kingdom, spent a day at the beach. And the beach actually, even though it was free, other than getting there, it was pretty much the highlight for all of the students to get to see the ocean for the first time. And then uh, our last day was spent at Universal Studios, and I think the students mostly enjoyed the uh, Harry Potter areas in that park. How did this trip benefit your students? Um, yeah, there are so many great things that happen when a group travels. They learn how to compromise. They have to budget their money um, throughout the entire trip. Um, they learn how to, you know, interact with their friends that are getting really tired and they get to see a new part of the country that they've never seen before, you know. Uh, many of them haven't even left the state of Iowa and here we got to travel all the way down to uh, Florida and then see kind of what things are like down there and those are things that you just can't really teach in a classroom and getting on actually doing it is, yeah, the most beneficial way of doing that kind of thing and it was great. The students were great, the adults that went along were great, and uh, I, I'll do it again. All right, well, Ms. thank you, Mr. Presley, and I hope, hopefully, you had a good time with your students. All right, we did. Thank you. Sounds like it was a great trip. Congratulations to the band and chorus students. Well, thank you, Ethan. My favorite part of the Disney trip was going to Universal Studios, where we visited Harry Potter World, and that was great. I really liked the chorus workshop at Disney. You know, I really love sitting in these chairs. They're my favorite chairs. I wish I had them in all of my classrooms. They're so much fun. I think Lexi talked about that a little bit. Should we go see? Yeah. Let's go find out. Okay. Do you think how you're sitting in a classroom affects your learning ability? School rooms around the world are providing a new way of learning. Basic requirements for school furniture is that it has to be flexible, mobile, and it has to fit the size of the student or teacher using it but it was found that students have been distracted by the seats that they're sitting in. Ashley Murphy has brought alternative seating to our school. English teacher Dr. Ludwig has the seating in her classroom. After writing her report, she submitted a Donors Choose project that was fully funded in 18 hours. 
Ashley mentions in her report that alternative seating helps students focus because most students pay attention when they can move around. In the 21st century, classroom students should be collaborating on projects, which is difficult while sitting in rows. In summary, research shows that your environment affects your learning. Well, research shows that bodies in motion help keep minds in motion. Well, that's all we have for you for this episode. Make sure you come back for the next one, though. And we're out. Woo!